Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Appalachian Home Co. So today I'm in my wood shop. We are working with the laser cutter, making some different items with that. And I'm also working on a laser engraved photo. So I thought I would give you guys a tutorial on an easy way to do laser engraved photos. I thought I would just go over how I set everything up, what programs I use, and how I set my Xtool D1 Pro laser cutter up to laser engraved. So I'm going to be using the Xtool D1 Pro along with the Air Assist. The Air Assist is really going to reduce the burn marks around your design. So we're also going to be engraving on this 3 quarter inch piece of cherry wood. The program I'm going to be using today is Xtool Creative Space. This is the program that comes with your Xtool D1 Pro. And this is what you're going to want to use to engrave or cut on any of your projects. Once you've opened the program, you wanna go ahead and just drag and drop in your image. It doesn't have to be a PNG, it can just be a photograph. Next, I'm going to select the image and go into edit image. Here, I'm actually going to remove the background. You can remove any background from your picture just to make things clearer and give you a better result on your engraving. Now you just wanna go ahead and save your photo. Now we're going to change some of the settings for this photo. I'm going to make sure that my processing top is set to engrave and it is. Now I'm going to change the bitmap image. I want to change this to comic too. Some of these others give you a different result, but this one was my favorite. I'm also going to change the sharpness to 100% and it takes just a minute for this image to render. So be patient while it changes. I'm also going to set the grayscale up to about 81 and this one right now is on 79 which is close enough and you can see now all these little tiny laser lines that are going to engrave on your image i've zoomed in so these are the actual burn marks that your laser is going to burn onto your wood right now my image is five and a half by six if i were to shrink this down i would probably have to change some of these settings because it will change your engraving just a little bit but I'm going to leave my photograph about five and a half by six. I'm also going to go over here to the power settings and I'm going to start out with a power of 60. I'm also going to be changing the speed and I'm going to start out with a speed of 80. Now we're ready to engrave our project. I'm going to click framing and this is going to allow me first of all to adjust my laser height. Just loosen your laser head and drop down the tab on the right side of the laser. You want that sitting flush on your material. Tighten back up your laser head and then just lift the tab back up. Now I'm going to move my laser head to the upper corner on the left side of my project. And that's where I want my laser to start. And I'm just going to hit framing and it's going to go all the way around the boundary of your project. So you want to make sure that fits on your piece of material. Once framing is completing, you're ready to process material. Again, on the left side, you want to make sure that this little green button is where you want your laser to start. So I'm going to go ahead and start the project. And now all we have to do is click the button on the device to start the project, to start engraving. Now I'm just gonna take a microfiber cloth and remove all of that dust created by the air assist. But you can see how super crisp and clean this image turned out. I absolutely love it. Here is a before picture on the actual program. And then here is the after picture. So you can see how detailed this laser engraving turned out. You can actually see all the little hairs that it was engraving 
all the little wrinkles in the face. If you like a lighter engraving, you can definitely change the settings in your program, but just play around with it until you come up with um, a setting that you absolutely like. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I do plan on doing another video on different items that you can engrave with your X-Tool laser cutter. So be on the lookout for that. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you can go ahead and subscribe. You'll be notified the next time I post a video. And I will see you guys back again in my next one.